Hey guys, thank you for liking my channel and subscribing to me. I owe you guys so much love, like always. Um, <clears throat> today's, today's video has been kind of boggling my mind for the past couple months. And um, it's all because of this book. It's The Complete Idiot's Guide to Wicked Witchcraft, 2nd Edition. Um, this is a really good book. Um, I would say this is a really good book for newbies as well as a little bit of newbie-ish. Um, I would say like if you know your stuff but you kind of want to brush up on on your basic skills and we all should. Um, I got this book for a dollar ninety nine, and uh, I really like this book um, because the last few chapters are really really good chapters I would say. The first part of the book is kind of like oh I kind of know this, this is becoming you know a repeated offender kind of information and I'm like I'm cool with it, but I was reading a little bit, and I'm like, wow, this is some stuff that I did not know. <laughs> and it's so terrible. But the one part that that I want to talk about is today is this section. Is how to break a spell. Breaking spellcraft. What is this? Like, this is really, like, blows my mind a little bit, because I'm like, okay, well, uh, I... When I was younger, I watched, you know, The Craft, like we all have, and Robert Tooney, <clears throat> she plays a character named Sarah, she comes into the shop, talks to Illyria, Illyria, or Illyria, I forgot how you pronounce her name, the shopkeeper of the magic shop, and she asks her, how do you do, how do you undo a love spell, and, um, it's amazing what she said, I don't know exactly word for word what she said back um but there's only certain quotes that it came from that uh scene it was just stuck to me she says um if you open a floodgate how do you undo it um life is a heart of the witch or something like that uh will keep balance something balance and um but the floodgate part was really like mm, this is true if you cast the spell you put so much intent you put so much emotion into um, that spell, how do you undo it? How do you, um, how do you unmantle that? How do you break it down? How do you break that spell? Is really with a huge question in my head. So let's just say, for instance, I cast a, uh, a healing spell. Well, then it, it, should I just let it go and, like, let it process this out? Let it, you know, do its chore or do its workings and let it go and then it'll just die out on its own or should I uh, if I don't need it you know should I just break it break the spell and if I do that would it disrupt certain vibrations would it disrupt certain powers and it's just a huge question in my head it's just constantly constantly ringing it and give me because I'm a Gemini and there's like thousand voices in my head but it's 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 pretty amazing like what do you do with subjects? Um, so, the only thing I can come up with is do with, like, what my heart tells me to versus what my mind tells me to. And it's really complicated because Gemini's really rely on their brains and their logic more than their emotions. Some of us can be a little bit emotional at times or can be emotional to certain subjects, but our brain always overrides everything, almost, every, uh, almost every time. So I'm thinking, how do I do this? So I think it's whenever my heart desires, like if I feel like I need to, if I feel like the just to do it, then do it. But I want to hear you guys' opinion. Like it makes me think, hmm, like I'm on the fence. I need some help. So I thought what a better way is to make a video come to you guys and see if, uh, if I'm not that crazy. <laughs> like my hair, if I'm not that crazy, um, what would you guys think? Like, for instance, let's just use a subject, a healing spell. I cast a healing spell on myself to heal myself, um, from emotional pain. Um, and I, and it totally makes sense on me matching my vibrations with that spell vibration, because it is my vibration. It is my, my, my code, my code vibration number, um, what do you do? Like, what happened if you're not needing that healing spell anymore? Like, when you don't need it anymore, what do you do? Do you let it ride its course? Do you just let the floodgate open and let it go? Or do you break a spell? 
I'm looking for video responses on this video, um, but comments are totally welcome like always. Um, till then guys, hopefully I can hear from you. I totally love you. Blessed be.